75 years ago, the guns fell silent. 75 years ago, it was the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. 75 years ago on that date, the war to end all wars ended. Well, I was in the infantry, 31st Infantry Regiment. And anything that an infantry boy did, up to including a corporal, was, was my job. In 1993, 75 years since William G. Hartman served in Siberia, and now he reflects on what was and what is time, Veterans Day. Many years ago, it meant peace. Today, I'm a little confused. I really don't know. Not so many wars, but what is happening in the crime in this country, the lawlessness that we have, to blame wars. Because I feel I've done what I can. 95-year-old Armand Perkins was in the Balloon Corps. This was taken in 1926. Surveying for the U.S. artillery over France. In World War I, it wasn't man to man. These were called doughboys, and they were, they were in trenches. They didn't see each other. So the balloon had to come along. Every Veterans Day means only one thing. It means our freedom. It's a real pleasure to see everyone here to honor a very, very special group of veterans, our doughboys from World War I. At a special ceremony, these very special men were honored for their service. An honor. Oh, what the hell did I ever do to this service? You did great things. Just like these soldiers and the men and women who followed in later wars and conflicts that were themselves to also be the war to end all wars, they did it for one reason. I'm very proud to have the opportunity to do this. Well, I'm, I'm lucky and glad to be able to. Mike Jackson, News Channel 8.